Hey guys, it's Vixella and welcome back to Let's Play These Sims 4. Get to work! This is my favorite thing in the world right now. <laughs> it's so fun. Oh, it's so fun. Okay, so this is our new house that I built. <laughs> so if you missed it, I did upload a speed build if you're interested in those kinds of things. Uh, showing how I built this entire little house. And I was going for a starter home at first that was going to be like under 20,000 or a, or like at 20,000. But of course I get carried away with things, but I did make it small. So it is kind of like a starter home, but I just wanted it to be a little fancier. I mean, just cause it's small doesn't mean it can't be super fun. So that's what I did. And so yeah, I'll give you a little tour just a second but uh, I wanted to read a comment that I really liked from the last uh, get to work part and that was oh my god you should call the bakery studio slash bakery pastries and portraits I really like that idea I think that's a really really cute name because I did decide that I was going to do a bakery on the first floor and then a photography studio on the second floor and um, the only reason I chose to do photography and not a boutique is because in my Roosevelt Let's Play we have just started making a boutique so if you want to see that that is where it'll be um, I know I'm kind of it's kind of like I'm doing two get to work uh, let's plays right now but it's like guys I just can't help it it's so fun okay I'm sorry so if you're not liking it I apologize but it's kind of a, it's kind of a big deal so it's really really fun and uh, yeah I just can't seem to stop but um let me give you a little tour now so I went uh, out of the box, well for me, with uh, colors and stuff, so I am uh, really, really liking all of the pops of color. It's very, like, alive, so really like that. But anyways, here's the living room. We have these new couches from Get To Work. Every I, tr I used, like, every piece of furniture I could find that was uh, from Get To Work. What is on the ground? There's a photo on the ground. How did, how did you get down there? I don't know. We don't need it. So anyways, uh, yeah, this table is from Get To Work. This plant is from Get To Work. These paintings are from Get To Work. You kind of get, kind of get my drift. But, um, yeah, so this, these, like, glass tables with, like, the blue lining around them are all from Get To Work. So just make that clear. So we have, like, a little sign here. It's got some crystals on it, which I thought was pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, that is our little living room. It's very, very tiny, but it gets the job done. And then here is our awesome kitchen, which I love this kitchen. I didn't put any, like, extreme decoration or anything into this. I kept it very, very, uh, just clean. Uh, but I really liked the green colors. I don't ever think about using green for a kitchen, so that was pretty fun. Uh, a lot of fun making the kitchen. This was like my favorite part, I think. And so we have a little glass wall here separating the kitchen from the little, uh, kind of a dining room. It's more of like a little cupcake station, but this is a little table. Uh, actually, no, the table was base game. These two chairs are from Get to Work, but because they had the blue lining, I changed the little theme in here to blue, and I know this looks like two different colors. It drives me absolutely insane. I'm not sure what to do about it, but it's just because of like the lighting, I think? Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure on that, but, uh, I assure you they are the same color, because, uh, here we have one, the one in the middle and the one in the middle, so I'm not really sure what to do about that one, um, unless we just changed them to, to the, yeah, see, it's, it's never gonna be the same color, so I don't know why, just something to do with the lighting, I know it's pretty weird, but whatever, and then, of course, we have the same painting here twice, because I couldn't help myself, and, uh, yeah, and then we have our little cupcake station, so I needed a lot of room for this thing, this thing is pretty massive, so I wanted to do it there, and then over here we have a little bathroom, which is actually a rug that fit the room, <laughs> perfectly and I thought it looked kind of awesome so I kept it in there and uh, yeah big window don't even care right now and yeah then we go upstairs and here's a little hallway and I will show you how I how I uh, talked about this little wooden thing in a second which that also did come with get to work uh, we have a little chair it's about all the hallway gives us here's another little bathroom you guys were concerned about me not putting a shower or a bathtub in the house uh whenever i recorded the speed build but i actually just forgot to record me building this uh bathroom for some reason but yes we do have a shower so they can get very clean uh so here's the bathroom i chose yellow for this one because i have not been a huge yellow person so i chose yellow just trying like i said trying to get out of my comfort zone with colors so i did that and uh yeah i mean the only thing that's really that extreme is like the bed um, but other than that, it's pretty simple. And then over here is like a little like, office slash uh, skill room. I don't know. But it has a, a little bookshelf for Oliver and then a little easel and computer because everybody needs a computer. But anyways, these little like 
wooden squares. Um, put them on both sides of these walls because they both fit there like really nicely. But what I like to think is that they are like connected through the wall, even though they're not even. But don't look that. Um, <laughs> just ignore it. Um, but like, I want to imagine that they like were built into the house and they like come through the wall. Wouldn't that be cool? All right, yeah, that's just me being me being silly. But yeah, okay. And then there's like a little balcony here, but I didn't put any furniture because it just it was just distracting. So there we go. There's a little house. <laughs> so yes, I finally built one. So I can stop worrying about it. <laughs> and, um, yeah. So, I'm pretty much going to, like, majorly cheat when it comes to, um, building her bakery. Because I literally cannot stand to not have one. Because we've done so much doctor stuff, but no, like, bakery stuff. And it's driving me crazy. Uh, but what I did do was buy the bakery book. Bakery book. The baking book. I'm going to turn my volume down real quick. That's what that noise was. All right. Uh, my Sims games are always way louder whenever I start to record. I'm not sure why. But anyways, anyways, I had to cheat a little bit because these books are like $2,500 a piece, which is crazy. But the only reason I really wanted to buy it was because um, I wanted her to be able to like read a book rather than going and baking a pastry every single time she needed to like up her baking skill yeah it was kind of driving me crazy because like we all we had in our fridge was um just baked goods which i mean that's not a bad thing but it's it's not food <laughs> i don't want them to gain a thousand pounds <laughs> so uh yeah yeah that's why i bought the book finally let's see so her like painting skill is like through the roof but her baking skill is yeah it's only at level one but it's about to be at level two so that's good so we need to get that up okay so she ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, more stuff. She can now make oatmeal cookies, cereal. Oh, no, 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 no way. Cereal, marshmallow squares. OMG. Um, bread. <laughs> That's br <laughs> okay. And fish pie. Fish pie? Fish pie in the kitchen. Oh, it gave us a new, like, actual recipe, too, or no? Or is that still baking? Oh, pie. That's baking. Stupid. Um, <laughs> She can also bake cream tarts, powdered donuts, and glazed donuts at the Cupcake Factory. Oh my god. Get in my belly. Oh my god. That is delicious. Okay, so we, we need to start baking some things and taking them to the bakery because that sounds absolutely amazing. Okay, so she, because she's ambitious, her lack of employment is like driving her crazy we may get her a job um we might just keep her as like um we'll just give her like a normal job where she doesn't have to like we don't have to go with her just so it's not as time consuming um but yeah i think whenever they have kids we'll we'll definitely get into the other careers but we'll have to do that soon but anyways um what time is it it's like 11 does he work what day is it? Wednesday. No, he doesn't have work tomorrow. Okay, so that means that we can super focus on Andrea, and I am really, really excited. So I'm actually going to have them probably go to bed soon. I'm going to have her eat something first. Okay, there's nothing in the fridge. Uh, beautiful. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. See, I want to bake things so bad, but let's just go have some dinner. We'll just go make some grilled cheeses. Some grilled cheese. And I'm going, no, no, no. I'm going to put this in her inventory so we have it with us. And, uh, yeah, so what does he need? Does he need to do anything? Treat two patients. Okay, the only thing that's going to up his career is going to be something that he has to do at his career. So he's good. <laughs> he's just going to use the restroom and I'm probably going to have him go ahead and call in for the night. And then, um, yeah, he can go to bed. Yeah. And then once she eats, I'm going to have her go to bed. Oh, no, honey, you can eat at the table. It's fine. Oh, she's... <laughs> They, my sims always stare at this thing. It is really cute, though. Oh, I didn't even notice there was, like, a little rooster. Oh. Ah, uh, attention to detail, my friends. Attention to detail. Okay, so once she's done with this, we're gonna have her go to bed. That way we can wake up bright and early in the morning to cheat and, uh, <laughs> make our bakery. All right. Yeah, okay, go use the restroom. Hurry up. Hurry up, make it snappy. All right, go to bed. And they're not tired whatsoever, but... It's late, and I don't want them to have weird sleeping patterns, so I'm just going to have them sleep anyways. <laughs> yeah, doesn't bother me at all. Nope, you're going to bed. <laughs> you are not waking up at 3 a.m. No way, Jose. Alright, alright, yeah, you're good now. You're good now. Right, yeah, go take a shower. 
go take a nice, nice uh, crispy shower. Crispy shower? That doesn't sound like it'd be pleasant at all. What am I saying? Okay. So yeah, he has um he has the next two days off, so he can just chill. He'll probably just chill here by himself. <laughs> I mean. Not to be mean or anything, he put the book on the floor, what are you doing? But I mean, we have been playing with him like crazy. Oh, he's reading Reel Her In. Ooh. Oh, oh, it's a fishing romance. Oh, nice. Real nice. You're not a fisherman. I don't know what you're doing, but okay. Maybe he's into that sort of thing. Um, anyways. <laughs> Getting back on track here. Um, 6 a.m. I mean, yeah, yeah, there we go. I was like, just wake up. Just <laughs> wake up we'll do something let's put the walls down um okay so i think we're gonna go ahead and head over there what are our funds looking like um okay we only have 377 dollars at the actual bakery so we're gonna go ahead and head over there uh do we have any bills to pay before we cheat okay now let's go head over to the bakery let's oh, where's my keyboard <laughs> she's like couldn't Okay, oh, look at that floating bubble. <laughs> Beautiful. Magnificent. Alright, let's head over to Magnolia Promenade. And... <laughs> look at that pathetic excuse. <laughs> the building. It's so sad. We're probably... <laughs> oh my god, I can't. It's... <laughs> Oh, that is embarrassing. But we are going to pretty much start out with a box. It's it's gonna it's gonna happen that way. But I am going to actually just mother load this. Oh, I can't do it in build mode. Smart. Let's. Nope. Nope. Now I have goofed. Now I I done goofed, guys. I done goofed. Okay. Let's try this again. Mother load. Ooh. Oh, a hundred thousand dollars. Oh, it did take it. Well, there's no going back now. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's switch. <laughs> Household to retail. We oh, we have $100,000. I did not mean to give them that much, but I mean, whatever. Uh, we'll just keep it in the retail fund since... Yeah, okay, so <laughs> let's do um, $100,000. That is a lot of money. Let's do like... In, in, <laughs> maybe like 95000 how much does that give them? Eight thousand. Eight thousand is still a lot of money. Oh well, whatever. We'll probably spend it on something. But anyway, so let's go ahead and just start expanding this because it definitely needs some expansion. So let's just expand it. We have like a ton of money, way more than we need. So let's just expand. Let's make it even, actually. So what's even? I don't think it's even. Hmm. Yep, it's even. Okay. So let's pull it back. Let's just make it a little bit bigger. Not too big, not too big. I don't want to go too crazy. I don't want it to be too overwhelming. This is a this is probably a good size to start with. Um, I'll change it up so it's not so boxy, though, because I can't stand it. And, yeah, because I'm totally not into that sort of feel. Even though their house looks kind of boxy, but it's okay. It's supposed. I told you, it's supposed to look like a starter home, but it kind of came out a little more fancy. <laughs> but it's okay, it's okay, guys. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> um, let's put this down. It kind of looks like eyeballs. Yeah, okay, and I just got distracted. Anyways, let's let's make this a little not so boxy. So what I think I'm going to do is actually put the walls up real quick. Let's remove this little section here and do this, and then we'll delete this section. Do we have a roof on this? Okay, that's all oh, that's the only roof we had. Nice. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and get rid of that. Um, we'll just get rid of it. It's not even necessary. And then we'll up... Oh, that's not pretty. What? It's okay. We're going to change it. I don't... I'm not going to keep this wallpaper. And then for the little deck, um, I'm thinking we'll put some stuff out here. like Maybe like a little bench or something. Um, currently, I am not thinking that we're going to be doing that in this moment. But um, we will eventually be doing it. So let's actually... You know what I'm going to do right now? Y'all are going to watch me do this. Because... Yeah. Uh, we are going to extend just this little section here as like our little entrance. Move the door. Actually, we'll probably get a better door than that. Get out of here, door. And then we will go down and delete this. <laughs> is that even even? Is that even even? Is it even even? It's not. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it wasn't. <laughs> um, okay. Which one do I like better? I definitely like the other side better. You win, left side. You win. You win this round. Alright, there we go. And we're gonna put this here so it doesn't drive me crazy. Whoop. 
Awesome, 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 awesome. And then let's put the little thingy at the top because for some reason you need this thing. I don't know. I don't understand it. Uh, and then we're going to get rid of that. So let's go ahead and move everything back. Let's move the whole house back. Whole house as in a uh, bakery. Yeah, you guys, you guys get, you guys get what I'm saying? Hold on, my arm is an itch. Goodness, okay, that came out of nowhere. Um, mm, is it not even again? Oh, it is definitely not even. What happened? <laughs> when did this happen? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> this is not good. This is not good. Um, maybe we can do that? Like extend it and then... But wait, doesn't that still make it uneven? I'm not even sure anymore, guys. I'm totally lost. <laughs> Why is it uneven? Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Well, man, I hate when this happens. This happens all the time. So, what is it? This needs to be in one. Right? Oh, no, but then this is gonna happen. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Wait, pause. Did I get it? Did I get it, or did I not do a thing? <laughs> oh wait, no, 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 wait, it's good, it's good. It's good, it's good, guys, we got it, we got it. <laughs> Don't worry, we got it, we're, we're good now, we're good. No more panicking. <laughs> I'm the only one panicking. Okay, so let's look on, let's get a roof here. Actually, we're going to need a foundation, aren't we, since we can't actually get on there. Oh, do you know what we should do? We should make a little curved, um, little curved, like, patio here for it. It'd be really cute. I think that'd look good at a bakery. We had a little like curved patio here in the front. I mean, we'll uh, we'll work on it later. Put some stuff out there, but for now that'll work. And uh, then we'll have some stairs, and it will look swell. So let's just put some like white stairs here. And yep, okay. And then for the railing, which one should we do? I don't really like the industrial. That definitely doesn't go with the theme I'm going for here. Um, well, if we fenced around here. Which fence do I like? Oh, we can always do pink fences. So cute. So cute. I always forget that we have pink fences. Just never, I never think to look. Um, where else do we have pink fences? We have these. Oh, those are cute. Those are cute. I may have to go with those. I think it's gonna happen. I think it's happening. Okay, so it's either those or those. So let's see, we have these or we have these. I'm actually kind of thinking about these, because the other ones look like, um, almost like it should be like a daycare. <laughs> just looks kind of like childish for some reason. Not in like a bad way, just, I don't know, it just does. Um, okay, so then we have pink railings, yes! Ah, oh, it's so beautiful. Obviously it doesn't match anything, but it will in time. <laughs> so, okay, let's add a little roof. Two thousand years later. Okay, so that took way longer than expected. That took me maybe like an hour, oh my god. But uh, this is what I've come up with so far. Oh, I forgot the windows in the back, of course. But um, yeah, so I did a little bit on the inside. Um, I'm not planning on keeping everything quite exactly like this. I mean, we'll make our, uh, our, our changes in the future, but I just wanted to get something started. So I put some little signs here on the outside. Um, they have, you can like change the like, design oh, okay now I can't change the design uh you can change what they say or what they look like but I chose I mean these have little cakes on them but I chose this one because it is pink and it has a little like flag thing and I thought it was really really cute but um actually I might go back and change this like fencing because uh, I really 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 like the fencing itself but as far as like the pink goes um I just don't know how well it fits because like the doors that it came with um, they have pink colors, but they're like really, really bright pink, and um, we don't have really, really bright pink doors, so it actually like kind of doesn't work out. But it's okay because here we have this, and then on the inside, um, like I said, I barely didn't do anything. I didn't do anything else, but um, some of the walls are still missing some um, wallpaper, but it's okay. But this is what I have here in the middle, and it, I'm trying to figure out what to do with the sides here. I may not connect this one, uh, only because. I obviously can't connect both of them, otherwise our sim will not be able to get in and use the register. So I think I might put, um, I'll put two registers actually, just in case uh, it gets busy or something later on. But um, yeah, here are my three signs, and I might move the windows so that they are not like in the in the way of my uh, signs, because I kind of don't think you can put signs on 
windows, but we'll just do it like that for now. And uh, yeah, so that's what I have. And then on this side, on these two like little indention spaces here, which I'll probably make look better, hopefully, in the future. Oh, excuse me, I have like... I don't know what they are. They're not burps, but okay. Anyways, these are little freezers. So actually, one's a freezer and one's a heater. So this one is a freezer. And uh, it's, it just says a retail freezer. And it's got like juice and milk and other things in it. I'm not sure if we can put anything in these, but we'll find out. And then this one is a, um, it's like a warming thing. So we've got like some bread and some like pastries in there. So I have like those on both sides so that we can, you know, kind of see what they do. All of the food items I'm trying to put into this. And yeah, and I plan on putting some bathrooms in here too as well, obviously, because the rush sims are going to need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that is our little bakery so far. And then, like I said, we will be expanding to the second floor and we will be putting a photography studio up there and all will be swell. So what I need to do is I, if, hmm, I suppose I could put like an oven and stuff in here, but I just don't think it would look very nice. I just bring the pastries from home, which I actually completely forgot to do. And why is she, oh, I thought she was tired. I was like, girl, you just done diddly slept. But let's go home. And actually like grab some pastries and then we will bring them back and see what we can do. Maybe we can like sell a few things. I mean, it's not like we're really, really struggling for money at this point because I accidentally cheated a little too much, but um, yeah. Alrighty, we are back and she is looking pretty, pretty sad. But let's go in here and let's bake something. Let's bake something over here. So let's make some, we can only make classic vanilla cupcakes, but let's make some um, pastries. Let's make some cream tarts. Sure, because I've never had cream tarts. <laughs> Let's do that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, girl, work it, work it. Look at this contraption. Can you imagine if we had things like this? Awesome. All right, definitely don't eat those. But let's take them. Oh man, they look crazy. Let's take some of those. And then let's also take... um. Oh, you know what she should learn? She should learn um cooking and uh gourmet cooking as well because they have those really cool cakes. <gasps> That'd be awesome. That'd be so cool if she could sell like huge cakes like that. That'd be really cool too. I right, now let's make some um let's make some powdered donuts. I'm just gonna speed through this real quick. Yes, powdered donuts! You know how long it's been since I've had a just a donut in general a, a long time but uh, okay let's go ahead and travel back to our store bakery whatever and uh we will try and see how we can put these on display and then let's see if anybody will buy them i put some uh put some signs out so let's hope it draws in a crowd <laughs> okay so can i just place these or do i have to go into uh build mode i don't think i would have to how do <gasps> awesome look i can just put them in there okay so what about the other things back here can i put anything in these oh i can actually yeah i can put them in there huh okay so i guess it maybe just preserves your your stuff i'm not sure but um okay so let's put the powdered donuts right there and then we'll put the cream tarts right there oh my god we've got things in the bakery that is so amazing so um let me show you guys how this stuff works so let's see we can set these for sale so now they have little price tags and then we go over here and we can set the store prices um they're at normal for now um we'll probably i'll probably put their money back down to like what I think they would have right now, uh, just so that we're not, because I, I like, I like to work for things, and I don't like to be given everything, because it's kind of, like, boring, but, um, let's just put them on sale. Um, okay, so, let's see, hold on, so I, no, sale. Oh, I have to, she has to walk over, okay. I was like, it's not changing. She has to do it herself, manually. Pretend. Okay, so they should be on sale. Okay, and let's see if it is on the other side here. Should be, yes, okay. So let's see, employee uniforms. Um, assigned uniforms. 
Okay, cool. We don't have any point, any employees, so we're not going to do that for now. But we have advertising, so we can do television ads, websites, um, just short term and long term, and that's pretty awesome. And then um, I've heard that these really, really, really bring in the crowd, so it gets a little crazy. Um, okay, and then um, yeah, and then once it's open, we can actually check like our um, uh, finances and stuff. So let's go ahead and open the store. She needs some social time anyways. Open for business, yes! It says the store is open and customers are on their way to pursue Andrea's merchandise. Any hired employees will be arriving momentarily. Be sure to assign them a task to perform during their shift. So apparently when we have employees, we will be able to tell them what to do, which is good. <laughs> and uh, yeah, all that Andrea has. So we're just going to kind of wait around and just, uh, oh, 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 do we have a, <gasps> our first customer. Okay, stop reading, stop reading. It's time to, it's time to assist. So, um, let's go greet our customer. We have to go greet them. Ah, so, so. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look how adorable this is. Look how cute. I can't even, can we take a picture of this as our first customer? Because we should. Okay, the picture has been taken. Okay, so now we can answer her questions. We can also just talk to her like normally. Just like any other day, we can also do retail things. Oh, who are you? Um, and then we can do discuss. Okay, you're not supposed to be back there, buddy. I might have to put these against the wall. Might have to do that and just put the counters on the side. But but see, then they have like a blue bar here that like kind of tells them how far. Like how close they are to um, buying something. So let's go ahead and suggest some options. And see, this person over here doesn't even need us to help her because she's like already totally pumped. What choice, what value? I'm ready to buy when you get a chance to ring me up. So he's ready to go. So let's hurry up and try to help her. Okay. So she's ready too. So can I ring up customers here? Um, I tried once, but I don't. I think they could. Oh, um, mm, actually, I'm not sure at all. I don't know if we can ever actually use these, but when you ring up a customer, you actually do it on, like, this little tablet, which I'll show you right now. So she's actually ringing the person up right now. And after we do that, we're going to come over here and ring up this customer. Which I wonder if he's getting angry. Yeah, he totally did. She bought the powder donuts! Amazing. So does he not want anything anymore? <laughs> yeah, I think we took too long with him, but we can go ahead and greet Miss Bella. Nope, greet her. Let's greet the customer. <laughs> As a customer. Let's answer her questions, ask about her price range. Oh, and she's ready to go. That was really quick. So let's go ahead and ring up the customer. We got there's so many people in here. Even though we only have like two things. So we'll wait for her to do that. And there we go. And she has taken the item. So it says no items for sale. Uh, the store currently has no items for sale. Click on the items in live mode to set them as for sale or restock any items that were sold previously. Uh, customers, well, customers, customers will not arrive until you have items for them to buy. So I wonder if we can just like restock these. We can! So we don't actually have to go back and recook these, we can just restock them. It does take- you do have to wait for them to restock them though. And these are all things that can like be improved or like quickened by these perks that we have now, which I will go through in just a second. And there we go! And now we have some more donuts! Yes! And okay, let me show you what this is. So we can actually close the store from down here. We can view our financial report. So we sold two items that made us $12 and restocking cost us five. So that's our profit today is $7 so far. And then we can transfer funds at any time. We can manage our employees at any time. Oh, this is really cool. Check that out. Look, Sims available to hire. Oh, not Eliza Pancakes. She'll never leave. Oh, here, look at this. Work ethic, sales, and maintenance skill. That's really cool. I haven't actually hired any employees before, so that'll be a new thing for me whenever we do. And then we can set their uniforms. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then we can also sell the store if we ever needed to, but let's hope that doesn't happen. And then here we go. So we have retail perks. So um, just, I think you get them by like 
just talking to customers or selling them stuff. I think you get them just just by working, you know. And with those, you can buy these little perks that will help you out. So the first one we actually can get is um, this one that says my first simoleon. It says unlocks a decorative wall object that celebrates the store's initial success. So um, we can go ahead and redeem this for 50, uh, what are they called, perk points? <laughs> and then I believe, well actually, where, where is it? Let me find it. There it is, ah, my first simoleon. So we can actually put this up in here or we could take it home and do that too. Um, where should we put it? We'll just put it right there for now. But it is, I think it's like a little dollar. Yeah, it's so cute. So this is our first simoleon, yes! <laughs> it's really, really cute. But also with that, let me show you. We um, we get a lot of cool stuff with this. So this is really, really cool. Um, it says, this unlocks a new pedestal object to display items on. This gives us a sign. This gives us a shirt for men and women. Um, this unlocks a new cash register. And I didn't see any of these things in um, build or buy mode. So... I think these are like completely like you have to unlock them. I don't think you can get them any other way. And maybe unless you did something, some kind of cheat, but I, I didn't see them in builder by mode or by mode, whatever. So yeah, but look, see like here you can like restock a little bit faster, uh, faster checkouts. Like customers will spend more time browsing before they decide to leave. So they'll like, won't, they won't be as impatient. Um, yeah, cheaper restocking. You have like all these different points, but I think the more you do them, like, let me see. I don't know. I'm not sure if you like keep getting the same things over and over, but it's okay. I'm sure it'll take a really long time before we get all of them, but that's really, 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 really cool. And I think they had that in The Sims 2, if I'm not mistaken. I think they did, but it was really, really cool. And then it tells you how long you've been open for the day. Just really, really fun. I really like this. It's so cute. So let's go ahead and greet the customer. She's all, she's already like almost ready to to buy. So let's talk to her a little bit, try to get her to buy something. But see, we earned five perk points by talking to her. So I mean, it's pretty easy to earn them, but at the same time, it's really, really hard because you only get five at a time. Oh, there's a child back there. I didn't even see him. <gasps> He's wearing a beanie. He's got a beanie on. That's amazing. <laughs> Dark, dark. What so the heck? Cassandra. Oh. Girl, I didn't even see you back there. Okay, well, we're helping this girl. So we're gonna go ahead and ring her up. Hey, and why is she feeling playful? Oh, she had a funny conversation. Who knew? We're ringing this customer up. Woo! And she has bought our donuts. So let's see how we were doing now. Um, How can we do this again? Here we go. So we have earned $13. We're going to go ahead and close the store. Um, and then it, it will tell you your financial report at the end of the day whenever you close the store. Also, if you haven't looked at it while you're uh, while you're doing all your stuff. But yeah, so that was really, really cool. And let me do this before I forget. I think I am going to um, actually move these back one so that the Sims cannot get back there. I don't think they can get back there. Oh, well, then I should probably not move this. Should prob probably not. <laughs> um, can I put this on a curved surface? <gasps> oh, I can. No way. So would it look cool if I curved it? <laughs> um, no, it's kind of weird. <laughs> we might make them separate. I'm not sure what we're going to do about that yet. But let me make sure that they actually can't get back there. So let's go here. Let's see if she can fit in there. <gasps> she can. Oh my god. Maybe it's just because she's so thin. <laughs> I don't think I can fit back there. All right, let's um, let's move them back even further, just to make sure they really can't get in there. Because <laughs> I really don't want them to get in there. So she actually could get back here. Are you serious? Are you serious? No way. No freaking way. I don't believe you. L no way. Oh my lord! I mean, she's going through like the wall a little bit, but oh my god, girl. That's terrifying. <laughs> How can you fit back there? That is so scary. There's like no room. I don't know, this game just amazes me all the time. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and move it back then. That still looks a little unnatural. Oh, uh, looks like I would like squish you. Um, no, you can really get there? I'm like, I'm like, I'm not convinced. Even though it's happening. 
Like she's going. Oh, I just that's so scary. I'm, okay, I gotta stop worrying about it too much, but um, yeah. So anyways, that is how it works. It is very, very cool. And uh, I believe it would get like really, really complicated as you know, your store grows and you've got more stuff to buy. And you know, I mean, you saw how many people just came in and we only had two things and half the time they weren't even in stock. So I mean, you saw that how many people came in. And yeah, I imagine it gets a little hectic. And it's really hard to like take care of everyone if you're just one person. So hiring employees is probably really, really important. So yeah. That's really, really cool. I can't wait to uh, get more in depth with it and start, uh, you know, challenging ourselves. Look how sassy she looks. She's so sassy. She's so sassy. I love her so much. Anyways, I'm going to wrap this part up here. I hope you guys enjoyed our little, uh, little store opening today, even though it was just like a little test run because we still obviously are missing a lot of things like wallpaper. But, um, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to see more. I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye, guys.